Hello, I'm Sig Solo, and you're probably wondering why is he wearing a mask? Well, we have a mask mandate here in Greenland. Yesterday, um, a lot of uh, people were infected with the COVID, so everything has been locked down. All restaurants, all shops, everything is locked. If you're outside, you have to wear a mask. I'm inside, so I can take it off. And for the next two weeks, well, or at least a week, uh, nothing is opened except for the grocery stores and the official um, offices, like the post office. I don't know why that's opened, but that's how it is. Uh, today is focus shave number 13. Uh, and I have some great stuff for you. Uh, as you have seen, maybe in the thumbnail, I have a new soap. Um, and I will be talking a little uh, more than usual about the soap today. This is called Vintage Lapidus, and it's made by the great guy Fernando uh, from South Africa. It's Master Soap Creations. That's where it came from. And this came about, uh, how did I get this to Greenland? Well, I saw uh, John, John Shaves 101 use uh, the, the spearmint, spe spearmint, spearmint, spe spear, no, spearmint, please focus, the spearmint. Uh, soap um, and then I wrote in the comments that I've uh, been trying to order this um, But they didn't deliver to Greenland and then Fernando the same Fernando that John was talking about Contacted me and said well, would you like some soaps to Greenland? I can help you So and that's how it all came came about but more about that later. He sent me this uh, and some other soaps and I can tell you it's called vintage Lapidus as I just said and it has the scent, take a whiff, it has a scent of their classic Tet Lapidus uh, perfume, uh, the one called Lapidus, the black one. And I've never tried, I've never smelled that in real life, but if it's anything like this, it's amazing. So, there you have it. I will be talking more about the soap later, uh, but first I have two razors. I have, uh, when I, uh, f three, four, five weeks ago, did the comparison between the Game Changer and the Lupo, some of you asked me, well, can you do a comparison between the 84 uh, Game Changer and the Lupo 95? And I promised you, the ones that asked me to do it, that I would when I got, uh, got my hands on the 84 Game Changer. And now I did. So. I have the Game Changer 84, I have the Lupo 95. It's of course point 84 and point 95. Uh, I did a comparison between the Game Changer 68, point 68, and the Lupo 72, and the Game Changer 1. Uh, I'm not sure. This time, uh, last time I said it might have to, uh, have to do with the handle, because the Game Changer was a little heavier. But this time I have the same handle on them and I uh, used my gem weight, uh, the one people call <laughs> drug dealer's weight, and they are exactly 100 grams each. So the weight is exactly the same. So no difference there. I know the gap is a little higher on the Lupo, but well, maybe I like that. And I know that the Lupo has a little more blade feel, but this is all about how I feel today using the soap. And I have a new brush. To show you is the Evo. I don't know if you see it. Is the Evo Veteran, and it has a. Well, I don't remember the knot. If it's a twenty, I think it's a twenty-six, but I'm not sure. Knot in it, and it's a synthetic. If you don't know, I haven't used it before. Some people compare it to this, the Simpson Trafalgar T3. Uh, that I like. I think it has a little too much backbone for my liking. So I'm hoping that if this is anything like it, that the backbone is, well, that's a little more fluffy. What do you call it? A little more, I would say it feels like it, but that will be tested now. So into the animal cup. There you have it. I know, I know I don't need to when it's a synthetic, but this is my shave. And I have a hybrid coffee 
in the coffee mug today. It is a blend uh, with so uh, so Jesus uh, with coffee from South America, from Middle America, from Southeast Asia, and from East and North Africa. I think it was. So it's a blend. Normally I don't drink blended coffee, but well, this is a, a, it's around the world, isn't it? So. It's a little bitter. Let me just see. See? Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah. A little more milk maybe next time. Okay, I have the soap already in the Pereira uh, bowl, uh, the white one here, and that's it. I have to warn you, if I didn't do that earlier, I don't remember, that this might be a little longer than usual. The week today and in the two next shaves has to do with the week of my Birthday. I know this is Saturday, so it's only it's it's next week my birthday, but I'm doing things a little slower. I don't want to rush things. So if you don't like long video videos, skip a little forward. Let's see. Oh, let's not see that smell. I know. I can see it, it needs some more, some more water. Let's give it some. This is the new brush. Maybe that was a mistake, or maybe that was too much water. Oh my God. Okay. So what happened? Fernando sent me a notice. I can help you uh, order some soap. And I said, well, I'm very grateful. How do we do this? And he said, well, you can pick two soaps and you can t pick two splashes. And all you have to do is to pay for the postage. I said, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm about. I want. I, I would like to pay for it. And he said, no, I won't hear it. And I said, well, I'm not a splashes man. And then he said, well, you can pick four soaps. So actually, I got four soaps. And this is the first one. On Tuesday, I will be using uh, another soap second soap and on Saturday I will be using a third soap so that's the first time ever I used three soaps in a row so and I haven't used this soap before and I haven't used this brush before but I can tell you I need to add a little more water so and if you're wondering you've seen these soaps you've seen the uh, Paul H. use it, you've seen Kevy Chaves use it, you've seen Conserves use it, and you've seen IMCDB Chris use it. And if you're wondering, can I get this soap? I am happy to tell you that it is available in West Coast Shaving in the US, uh, in Canada, top of the chain. It will be available, I don't think it's available today, uh, but it will be very, very soon. By the time this airs, maybe it will be available. Oh, look at this. Look at this lather. <sighs> Wonderful scent. It explo it's exploding here. Really. Really, really, really. Okay. Today is the Danish National Day. It's the, what do you call it? Declaration of, no, wait a second. The, uh, this was today, the, the, the Declaration of Rights for Denmark was signed in 1847. So, this is a day off. <laughs> well, it's a Saturday, so. All the buses are, have flags. In the corners and stuff like that. Oh, this is a fantastic soap. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. And I have soap enough for a regiment here. It's only 
shooting. Well, and actually, if you're wondering, he's wearing a band-aid. Did he cut himself on a razor blade? No, he didn't. He cut himself on the coffee bag with the coffee beans in it. So, two and a half day of stubble. So, let's see. Oh, you see that? Oh, look at, look at that shine. Oh, that's amazing. Oops. Fell in the sink. The one that got away. Man down. See, look at this. I always hurry doing this. I've been watching IMCDB. He does this, but not as fast as me. So maybe I should slow down. That's what I intended. When I started this shave, did you just think that the sound was <laughs> was gone for a second? No. Okay, I have the official red uh, Persona Red. That's the official uh, focus shave blade, and it's the third use. So I will be using the Lupo on this side, and I will be using. Game changer on this side. Okay, slow down, Sigurd. Sigi. Psycho. Sig. Oh yeah, I definitely feel the blade. A lot of blade feel. So this is a uh, take it easy. Go slower. Razor? That's usually what blade feel means for me in my shave. I don't mind the blade feel. And... This is the first focus shave with no brush hanging in the background. And that's because I'm waiting for a brush to arrive that I want to. Use in this focus shade. So. Not this, but the next. So I'm hoping. It was a birthday gift to myself. So I ordered it, Game Changer 84, and this is the first time I ever try this. I haven't used this before, so. Oh, that's slick. Oh. I understand. It feels like a little cut, but I would say there is such a good cushion in this soap. Such good slickness. So I've been trying to get a hold of the Mamba with the 50 something play um, gap and the 70, 70? 70 gap. 
but I haven't been able to to source them as the Italian barber don't deliver to Greenland and well that's it so I wrote a letter to Dave from Shaving Time asking him if he could help me and I haven't heard back from him but that's an upcoming shave if we find a way to get the Mamba stainless steel Russell Rock in, with the 50 something plate and the 70 plate I will be doing that because I don't have access to it so but there you have it oh I see I have a little I have a little weeper there mm -hmm. But that is, it is what it is. This soap is so easy. Oh, I have a little weep there. So maybe I was doing it too fast. Forgot that I need to focus. This being the 84, or oh, this side being the 84. Demands that maybe that you slow down a little. I don't know. Maybe not you. Maybe just me. So. Second pass. Across the growth. Okay, doggy. There you have it. The Lupo 95. Across. Doesn't feel right. Huh. Something's wrong here. I don't know what's wrong. Cause you see, it tore me up. Maybe I had some bumps I didn't see. I don't know. Oh yeah. Something's not right. But I don't see it. I feel it. It's like it's tearing everything up. Well, it is, you see? I have all these small bumps. I don't know where they, where they came from, those bumps. I hope it's not an allergic reaction or something. I just changed to the game changer, 85. 84? <laughs> Maybe it's the blade? Maybe I accidentally took the blade that had been used five times already. Maybe that's why all of this chucking is going on. But you know me, nothing is edited. Let's go back here. So this being the, third, uh, the focus shave number 13, maybe that's just it. A lot of bad luck. Oh yeah, I changed the razor again. So 
This is the game changer. Okay, so let's have a feel. Nothing here. Plenty here. That's strange. Not as much here. So I need an against the growth um, pass. So let me just wash. Let me just wash this off. Let me just wash all this, all these Japanese green Atlantic flags off. Oh, that's itchy. Well, but that's how it is. So a half pass. Hmm. And next week, I will be doing vintage races in all the shaves. The Black Beauty, the long handled one, and the short handled one. And then the little travel racer. So that's it. Let's see how this goes because it didn't feel nice. When I was at the neck earlier. Whew. Kind of shuts you up, doesn't it? Plenty of slickness left from the soap. That was a bad move. Going sideways with the DE racer. You shouldn't do that. That's the recipe for disaster, isn't it? Okay. So, the 84. I even got my wool there today. But this is shave number 13, so a little bad luck is to be expected, I would say. I don't know about, about you, if you are superstitious. I wouldn't consider myself a very superstitious, but maybe I should be. Okay, so let's be honest. This looks horrible. So, I believe only time I ever did this before was with cut my, uh, my neck up like that. It was not on a video, it was the first time using the carbon. And that was what is known as speeding tickets. Everything went so good up here that I hurried down here and I forgot that the neck doesn't like me speeding. So, oh yeah. So, it is what it is. And today, it was bloody, messy and bloody. Not messy, the football play, but, but I must say, this is not the soap's fault. This is entirely up to my technique and the race. And, well, never blame, blame the equipment. Always blame the workman, the guy using it. Okay, so today I will be using the elm stick. That's for sure. Because, and I will feel, I will feel this. Oh, that's the, Jesus. That is, I would say, very, very,
nothing up here. It's stinging here because I've cut the mole. And down here by the neck here, you see it turning red. Well, just one of those days, right? I will add the cold water to my cloth. Whew. So, how is life where you are? Is it good? Have you... Is everything opened up? It seems we are far behind here with the, with the lockdown that happened yesterday. True. Maybe my summer holiday to Europe is at risk here. Oh. Cold water, that helps. That's actually very nice. Okay. So, are you allowed to travel? Has everything opened up? Where you are? Here it's closing. So, you cannot come visit on Wednesday and my birthday. So, cheers to you from here. Okay, this scent is a perfumey scent. Um, so I'm using a perfumey scent. The oh, that was far too much. <laughs> Just my day. The Aqua Velva Sensitive Five in One. So, and I really need the help from it because this is this was a messy shape. And I believe I disposed of the other blades, but I, I will have to check because down here it felt like it was talking like hell. So. And I don't think I was speeding. I would say I, uh, I wasn't. So, okay. This is not burning. This is actually helping. It's soothing. Just wash my hands, okay, and then the Nivea Man, the blue one, okay. See, ah, there you have it. I'm a bit, I'm a bit surprised by all this blood, so maybe I forget half of what I was supposed to say, but you know, you can win them all. But this side, there's nothing here. This side, okay, this is not a BBS. I have some stubble here, right here. So, I think I have a winner. And maybe it's not a surprise to you, but, Oh, Game Changer 84 and the Lupo 95, the Game Changer 1, today. Not by much, but by, by a little, by some cuts, you might say. Well, this got it all and this didn't. So, the Game Changer, Game Changer is the winner. So that's what we used today. We had the wonderful uh, soap that uh, Fernando sent all the way from South Africa. The vintage Lapidus, wonderful scent. We had the two races, the Game Changer, Vassal Rock Game Changer, and the Lupo, Vassal Rock Lupo, the 84 and the 95. We had the two Persona Blades. We had the Animal Cop, you know. We had uh, the Evo, the Omega Evo Veteran brush, and I would say it performed very, uh, very well. And we had the Pereira ball. So, and I have plenty, plenty of soap of soap left, and I really didn't use a lot. I really didn't. So, I would say the soap exploded. I finished it off with this, the Aqua Velva five to one. Five in one, 
and I ended it with this the Nivea Men Cream. And I don't know if I remember to say, but the soap will be available or is available already in West Coast Shaving. So go check them out if you are in the US. Top of the chain, if you're in Canada, it should be available, if not now, very soon. And then shaving time in the UK. So that's it. And Ferdinando, oh, sorry, Fernando, thank you very much for sending me those soaps. And to the rest of you, have a wonderful week, you know. I'm looking forward to the week to come and you know why. Six solo. Ah, just a second. Share. Wait a second. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. I'm, I'm all, this, this is really surprising to me and knocking me off my game. So remember, <laughs> we are not obsessed. We're dedicated. This is Six Solo signing out. Have a wonderful week.